Namaste. I'm Scott Katamas, and welcome to our video blog section. I'm on tour right now. I'm in Las Vegas teaching for the next few days here. And I've just been looking online at some of the questions that have come in to us for our survey. And thank you, everybody, who has sent these questions into us. They really show me what's alive for you, what's important for each of you. And I want to, like, answer every one of these questions right now. So rather than waiting until I got home, I... Uh, our partner, Olivier, has set up the camera, and I'm going to answer some of them right now for our video blog. Several people have asked questions around the idea of why can't I find my soulmate? I'm getting older, and I've been looking, and I'm a wonderful person, and how come I can't find true love or my soulmate? And that's a, a common question. Several people have written things like that. I believe that when we're looking for Prince Charming or looking for that perfect person, it, it can become a fantasy. Now, I absolutely believe in wonderful, loving, long-term partnerships. I've been blessed to be in such marriage myself, and of course I'm here to support you to have those great relationships. But as opposed to finding the person and then going off and living happily ever after, which is the fantasy we were all taught as kids, which is a really kind of a terrible lie, really. The truth is, we find people that we can partner with, and we cultivate healthy relationship. And we use the tools and practices that Kika and I will be teaching you through Outstanding Relationships to create a great relationship. And I just want to mention that when I look at the great long-term relationships of friends of mine and clients that I've worked with, it's rarely that they met and that was it, you're the one, and it was always easy. The truth is most of the time, the people who have good, healthy, long-term relationships have gone through hard stuff together. They've gone through challenges together. They've gone through disappointments and disillusionments with each other. But the love was cultivated and they learned how to manage their differences in ways that actually help them to grow closer as opposed to growing apart. So, of course, there's so much more to say about this. Uh, and uh, that's why we've got this whole wonderful set of videos and materials and books and teachings for you. Um, but if you're looking for the soulmate, um, try to be as open as possible. And your soulmate may not look like you always imagined. They may not even talk like you always imagined. To be very honest, my wife waited 15 years to get together with me in a relationship because I didn't look like her soulmate. She always wanted and imagined being with a big, strong, Aryan-looking guy. And um, once we were married and very happy, we talked about how, God, we could have we could have gotten in together so many years earlier because we knew each other, and I always had a crush on her. But she wasn't open to it because I didn't look the part. And it wasn't until she adjusted her thinking and let me in that uh, our marriage began. So that's uh, one of my thoughts about soulmates. And uh, I look forward to talking to you on our next question and our next blog.